Okay, so in this video, we'll be talking about the principles of probability. So the mo the likelihood on which a so the event will occur. So basically, if an experiment has a set of distinct outcomes, each of which is equally likely to happen, so that that is what we known as um, unbiased then the prob probability of an event E to happen or uh, the probability of an event so we call that one E so we have here PE okay is the ratio of the number of outcomes to the total number of possible outcomes so, for, so this will be now the formula so the number of outcomes that is for the result or the pre the event e to occur over the total number of outcomes okay for example if you are going to get the prob probability of of um, getting ahead if you are going to toss a coin so the our our the total number of our outcomes is two so we have head and tails so that is two then the possibility of getting a tail okay so the, the possibility of getting a tail a tail so, yes, we have a tail is one Okay, so because it is a single toss, so the probability of getting a tail is equal to 1, then over the total number of outcomes, 2, or 1 half or equal to 50%. And this will be our probability. Okay? So next, we will go to mutually exclusive events okay so in the previous video we defined as mutually exclusive event if if the there are no common um, union among them for example if if event a the union of event a an event B is a null set therefore those two events are mutually exclusive now in the concept of the probability so the two events are mutually if, if uh, exclusive if so this is the condition if no two of them can occur at the same time so no two of them can occur at the same time so for example if the same trial those two could occur so that is not a mutually exclusive event so meaning the 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 outcome of the one of the event is not affecting the outcome of the other event so for for example if you are going to pick you know this one example of that is picking a card okay so we are picking a card from a deck of cards no so if we are going to pick a diamond on our first trial so this event will not affect if the, the next event we have pick a heart so the two are mutually exclusive event so if two if two or more events are mutually exclusive the pro, proba, probability that either one of their them will occur is the sum of their probabilities for example if a certain a certain card if we are going to have the probability that we could get a diamond and or a heart 
then this is their total probability okay so the probability of getting a heart or a diamond is the sum of the probability of each of the two okay so now we will go to independent events okay so independent independent events so when you say independent events so the outcome so the outcome so it is the same as mutually exclusive but the this one is they are um, somewhat um, continuous with each other so they the same number is given so outcome of one trial has no effect on the outcome of any other trial trial so for example if sample of this one is a tossed coin so the probability of getting a head is one half they po then it tells another coin that will be our second trial so again the probability of getting a a head or a tail is also one half okay so unlike the mutual exclusive event if we are going to get for example that the first trial we get 10 of hearts okay 10 of hearts on the next trial if that that the 10 of hearts is not returned therefore the chance of getting of 10 of hearts is now zero zero out of 52 because the the on the second trial the 10 of hearts is not returned so that is mutually exclusive but on independent events you have the same number of outcomes and there is still a chance that you will get that certain outcome on the next trial so that is independent events so the probability so this will be of the pro probability of getting a tail so head and tail on a certain event is equal to their product so you have the probability of getting a head uh, a tail p times the probability of getting a head so unlike the mutually exclusive event it is a the sum this one it is the um the product of the two events occurring on different trials okay so that is independent event now we will go to add okay so this is not a number but this is add so add is a word but it is uh, used to um, what is the likelihood no? so likelihood of an outcome to occur so that is how we will define add so it is usually used in gambling okay so it could it is more um coined or it is more uh, it's more synonymous to the word chance that is the directly hope of the outcome to occur so for example what will be the add of event e to occur so the add okay, the add of event e to occur is equal to the probability so that will be the probability so the probability of event e to occur Okay, so this will not be PE but only E. So the add of E over the over the probability that E will not occur. So for example, if the PE or the probability of E to occur is one half, then therefore the probability P not E which is equals to 1 minus PE 
is also equal to 1 minus 1 half or equal also to 1 half. So if we are going to get the add of E, so we have 1 half over 1 half, which is equal to so 1 half over 1 half, so this will be equal to 1. So the add of E to occur is equal to 1. So meaning, uh, we have the so-called true and p of add. So that is how add works in, uh, uh, or that is how add is defined in probability. Okay? The next we have, uh, we just include this topic in here. So we have binomial, binomial expansion theorem. Okay. So binomial expansion theorem is um, is defined as if you are going to to um, get a binomial, for example x plus y to the n. So, a certain formula of that is the binomial expansion theorem in which we could expand this one. The their numerical coefficient is also uh, is also equal to a certain um, rule which we are going to use sometimes we are going to use the Pascal's triangle in getting the in getting the um, new numerical coefficient of the of the resulting polynomial so that is most likely to be to be discussed in um, in algebra but if we are going to get the binomial distribution for example we are only getting the the we are only getting the numerical coefficient of of a certain um, of, of a certain term in the polynomial so that will be the binomial distribution so we could do that by using fermentation and combination so that would be p so that will be the um, somewhat a uh, the numerical um, coefficient that will be n c r then p to the r q n minus r so this is how we are going to get the coefficient of that um, certain term it could also be used on getting the probability of certain events so it is also known as the binomial distribution so this is uh, much um, used in higher applications of probability and statistics but we could also use this one in getting the coefficients of certain term of on a polynomial which is a result of a of the binomial expansion theorem okay so that will be all for this video and in the next videos we will try to solve some problems okay so thank you for watching this video and as always have a good day